Hi guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Welcome, I hope you will decide to stick around. Um, like you saw in the title, today's video is just um, kind of an overview of my makeup collection. I do have a lot of makeup, um, you know, for the average person, but it, when it comes to the YouTube world, it actually, it, it's not that big, but yes, for the average consumer, this is a ridiculous amount of makeup, um, and um, it's what I have, it's what I love doing, and uh, so uh, let's just uh, get into it. Oh, and by the way, I hope you will consider subscribing and uh, checking out uh, some of my other videos, but anyway. Let's just jump into it. So here's the the top of the dresser, the top of my vanity. This is um, my palettes right there, uh, some lipsticks and some of the brushes. Um, and then that that far end is the those are the setting sprays. But let's let's go and um, take a little take a closer look. On the first organizer here, we have some MAC lipsticks, as well as some Maybelline, um, NYX, a lip gloss from Ulta, NARS, Smashbox, and, and also some pencils on the left. On the first drawer here, I keep my eye primers. I have some from Urban Decay, Smashbox, uh, Benefit, and a small sampler there from Pure. The next drawer, I keep my eyebrow products, and I have the Anastasia brow gel, um, as well as the Anastasia brow definer, and a dupe for that, which is uh, the L'Oreal, um, very affordable. Then I have a MAC pomade, and I also have um, Iconic London eyebrow cushion, as well as some other products from uh, NYX and IT Cosmetics. In the next drawer, I have just some small moisturizers, which I won't even go into, just some small ones. Then moving on to the eyeshadows, uh, we start with the Huda Beauty. Uh, this is the Warm Obsessions. The next one is from Laura Lee Los Angeles, uh, Party Animal. Then the first ColourPop, this one is called Sweet Talk. It's one of their latest releases. Also from ColourPop, Dream Street with a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Another color pop called Yes Please uh, that has beautiful summer colors. And last color pop, Misunderstood. This is from their Disney collection. Then we have a small one here from Kat Von D. It's contour and quad in the shade Rust. I actually just use it as eyeshadow. This was from Viseart and it's, <laughs> yes, and I just dropped them. They all fell out. Um, Golden Hour is the name. Then we have from Too Faced, uh, Just Peachy Mattes, and it's just that, all mattes. This one's from Tarte, Tartlet Toasted. Then we have the small one from Wet n Wild called Not a Basic Peach. Next, uh, Tarte called Buried Treasure. Interesting layout. I love the shimmers in this one. Then from Flower Beauty, this one's called Sun's Blazing. Similar to the Yes Please from ColourPop. Similar color story. We have Alamar Cosmetics, the Reina del Caribe Volume 1. This is their first palette ever. This one is just from Crown Pro. I don't think it had a name, um, but it's just a bunch of warm tones. Then I have Juvia's Place. This one's the Warrior, the first one. Beautiful golden tones. This one's from Pure Cosmetics, and it's called Festival. I have Morphe 15B. Kind of lackluster, this one. Not one of my favorites. Then I have Huda Beauty. Desert Dusk, a really popular one, and I love this one, love the quality. Then from Dose of Colors, this one's the Desi and Katie collaboration called Friendcation. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. This one's from Suva Beauty called Partage. Another Morphe, this one's 25C. 
This one's a lot better than the other one, in my opinion. Then this one, it's a small face palette with eyeshadows, and it's called Dawn and Decked Out. So it has shadow, contour, blush, and then eyeshadows. Then this one is from Smashbox. It's a shadow liner brow powder. And then sometimes I use some of them as eyeshadow. This one's from Too Faced Sweet Peach, a really popular one also, a couple years ago. Um, Anastasia Modern Renaissance, which most everyone knows. And also from Anastasia Soft Glen, which is a little bit more neutral. Another Morphe palette. This one's the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's a collaboration from Wander Beauty uh, Seascape. Beautiful shimmers. From Tarte, this one's Rain, Rainforest of the Sea. This is from Too Faced. It was a holiday collection. It came with three sets. The first one is called Super Fun Night for an evening look. The next one is called I Believe in Pink. That bottom color is a blush. And then the third one in that set is called Natural Beauty. And the bottom one is a beautiful bronzer. And the very last palette is from Too Faced Pretty Rich which was one of their holiday releases. So we move over to the next organizer where I keep my perfumes. I have some from Flower Bomb. This one's Jimmy Choo Illicit. Then I have in the back uh, La Via Belle by Lancome and one from Atelier. My favorite one is Clementine California. Then I have some lipsticks. Again, these two are from ColourPop. Some from Anastasia, those two are from Anastasia, then two from Kat Von D, two from uh, Bare Minerals, two from Milani, Zoom, <laughs> there you go, and some others, um, like from Urban Decay and um, Smashbox, this miscellaneous one. And to the right, I just have the large size of the Lancome La Vie Belle. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And that was just a small physician's formula. Then I have the Copacabana Bronze Glow Oil, as well as the Bomb Bomb Cream the, and the Body Spray. Then setting sprays. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. The next one is Smashbox Primer Water. Then we have our Bideshu Facial Spray. Then we have the Urban Decay All Nighter. Caudalie Grape Water. This is really hydrating. The very popular Max Fix Plus from MAC. This one's from Wet n Wild and the Coconut. They came out with three different ones. This one's from Urban Decay Rebound Collagen Infused. Love that one. Uh, from Morphe, the Continuous uh, Setting Mist. From Elf, this is a Beauty Shield Mist. So just to protect. Then Milani Make It Last is similar to the Urban Decay All Nighter. Then we have these two from Catrice, Prime and Fine. The original one and the Dewy Glow one. Then in this top drawer here on the left side is where I keep my bronzers, powders, and highlighters. The first one here is the bronzers, the middle's finishing sprays, and then the third is highlighters on the on the far right. So we'll start off with some of the bronzers. That one's from Fenty. Hula bronzer, which is very popular. The also very popular from Physicians Formula. This one's from a MAC. It's a really old one, but it's still good. And then here I have some cushion foundations, these two. This is from L'Oreal, and the other one was from Wet n Wild. Then these are powder foundations. And I have some finishing powders. The Charlotte Tilbury, I have a Too Faced, I have an Essence one, and that one is Physician's Formula. Sorry about the zoom. 
I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was now focusing when I was recording. And some in the back, I have some loose setting powders. This one here is uh, from Flower Beauty. It, this one has a satin finish, and it's the only one like that. Uh, then that's Laura Mercier translucent um, setting powder. This one's from Pretty Vulgar. It's actually new. I haven't tried it. This one's Kat Von D brightening powder. I use that um, under the eyes, and the shade is golden. This is the newer one uh, from Fenty in the shade Cashew. Then I have the Maybelline Fit Me, and I have two shades, my winter and my summer shades. Love this powder, best option at the drugstore. This one's LA, LA Girl Pro Powder, and it's like a banana powder. So you can use it to set under the eyes as well. And the last one's from Physician's Formula, Airbrush Loose Setting Powder. I skipped over the highlighter, sorry. Next drawer, I have primers. And again, I apologize for the zoom. The first one is from Too Faced, Poreless. Then I have from Milk Makeup, Blur Stick. This one's from Cover FX, uh, Blurring Primer. This one's from Touch and Soul, No Problem. From Dr. Brandt, Luminizer Primer. It's just a nice sheen. This is Mashbox Photo Finish. This one's, sorry, pretty popular as well. Then I have the Ordinary Silicone Primer. This is newer. I haven't really tested it out. NYX uh, Shine Killer, Wet n Wild. Another NYX Pore Filler. This one's from Catrice, the Prime and Fine Soothing Refiner. The Maybelline Fit Me Master Prime. L'Oreal Magic Lumi. This is from Revlon. This is a really good one for pores. And the Tatcha Luminous Silk. Smashbox Primerizer, really hydrating. This one's a small sample of Bobbi Brown Vitamin D. And then the Benefit Professional, which is a really popular one as well. Next drawer, I have foundations and face palettes. And I'm just going to kind of mention a few, not the entire thing because we'll be here forever. This one's from uh, Bare Minerals. Um, this is CYO, Flower Beauty, Light Illusion. But this one's Catrice. I have the two shades there. This is the Wet n Wild Stick Foundation. These are really good. Photo Focus. This is the liquid version of the Wet n Wild that came out um, a couple years ago. Then I have the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, which I love. Another one from uh, Bare Minerals. That's a serum foundation. Then I have the Charlotte Tilbury, the Milani Glow. Then I have the... Marc Jacobs, um, also the uh, Physician's Formula. These are all like primers uh, for a glow. Here I have the Hourglass. I'm going too fast. I cannot keep up. <laughs> Sorry. This is another face palette uh, with bronzers and highlights, but you're seeing the products. This one's from Carver FX. Perfector palette. This is Tardis Glow with some bronzers and highlights as well. And then I just have some extra beauty sponges in the back. I keep the clean ones there in that uh, container, that plastic. The next year I just keep my Q-tips and cleansing facial wipes and um, cotton rounds, you know, brush cleaners and just things like that. And some bifacial cleansers from Lancome as well. Moving over to the other side, on the top drawer, I just have my lip pencils here. The standouts here would be Urban Decay. I love the Urban Decay uh, lip liners. They're so rich and creamy. On the right-hand side, I have my eye pencils, and I also love the Urban Decay. Um, I have a couple. I have about five. I just picked up three there to show you. 
um, really, really good quality. I totally um, recommend it. In the back, I just have the mascaras that I'm using and the mascara curler. That's the primer. And that's uh, from Essence, I, Lash Princess. It's really, really good. That one's from Smashbox, which I like as well, but I kind of rotate. I try not to have more than three open. Here I have the Beauty Oils. That one's from Physician's Formula. This one's from Els Booster Drop. And then Drunk Elephant uh, Marula Oil. Then the next drawer, sorry, I'm going so fast. I have my lip glosses, my liquid lipsticks, um, metallic lipsticks. And in the front here, those are just like some lip samples of uh, perfumes. I like to test out because I, I love perfumes as well. Then on the right, I have my metallic lipsticks um, and lip glosses. So I just keep them here because I don't typically reach for, for metallic um, lip products that often. Um, so you can see some, some from Wet n Wild, some from NARS, Makeup Forever, some pretty vulgar, Too Faced. That one is really pretty. That one's Physician's Formula. Pretty vulgar, like I said. Then on the lip glosses, I have the Fenty. This is the original one that she initially came out with. We have some from NYX. Milani, which is a great um, drugstore option. Buxom for plumping. I have two Catrice. I like them, but I just don't like the applicator. It's got that little cushion. I have some from Too Faced, the Melted Latex. And my all-time favorite lip gloss formula are the ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then those three, those three of the shades that I currently have. By far the best. On the right side here, I have liquid lipsticks uh, that are more on the nude side. So I have some Physician's Formula, Maybelline, Kylie. Some from NYX, some Wet n Wild, and in the back I have the bold colors, so um, a mix of any type of of lipstick, um, any color as long as it's bold. Um, I have some from Becca, some Koki, some NYX, some Anastasia, some Urban Decay. So I just keep those in the back there because again, those are not colors that I reach for. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, so I kind of move them to the back. There's from Anastasia, those came in a set. Those are really, really nice. Urban Decay. And the next drawer, I have my um, concealers, blushes, glitters, and shimmers. And um, we're way to organize it. This one's the Tarte Chrome Paint. The shade I have is uh, Sun Drenched. Love the formula of those. Then I have some ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I have a couple. This was a Natasha Denona single in um, Morgana. Uh, this one's a newer Kaja. Uh, the 3-in-1 Toasted Caramel is the shade. Then one from Makeup Revolution in Rebound. I have one uh, Urban Decay Half Baked. That's a single eyeshadow as well. More from ColourPop. And then those four there are from Profusion. These are eye toppers. So those four caps. And then the three smaller ones are the Stila, um, which everyone is familiar with. The Stila Glitters. And then I have some other miscellaneous ones on the left side from Wet n Wild and NYX some pigment primer, things like that, I keep in that little um, container there. By the way, that's the best one, the uh, NYX uh, Glitter Glue, really recommend it. So moving towards the back here um, are my blushes. We're gonna go into the blushes, and the first one is Alamar Cosmetics. Beautiful formula, three beautiful summery colors. Uh, the next one's Milani in Romantic Rose. Then I have the very popular Nars Orgasm in the small size. I have this one, Essence, in Satin Coral. Beautiful. 
Laura Geller, a big blush, Tropic Hues is the color, a little bit shimmery. Catrice in a bronze, I use as a bronzer as well, or blush. Juvia's Place in Serafina, it's a beautiful peachy color. This was from Note um, in Desert Rose. And then I have several MAC uh, blushes in different shades. I also have two of the Tarte. I have Party and Feisty. And then I have two Bobbi Brown cream blushes in the back, a pinky and a peachy one. Then here we go to my concealers. The first one is uh, Bendy Avocado. Then the next one is Tarte Shape Tape. I have two shades. I'm throwing things now at this point. Revlon Candid. I have Flower Beauty. Light Illusion. Sorry, I'm going so fast. Wet n Wild, which I don't really use. Urban Decay. This is a color corrector, which I love. Uh, this one from Mac Studio, a finish concealer. It actually has SPF. The next one's ColourPop Concealer. It's a little bit dry, so I don't use it much. This one's from Milani. Conceal and Perfect, which I actually use as a foundation. I have to move it. This is for LA, LA Girl Pro Concealer, which I love. And then the Nars Radiant Concealer. And then the last drawer, I just keep up, I'm sorry, I just keep products that are new, uh, backup products that I purchased when they were on sale. I just keep them here. And when I run out, um, this is where I, <laughs> I go shopping. I have you know, even backup brushes, I have backup lipsticks, eyebrow products, uh, especially mascaras because we get a lot of mascaras in the uh, subscription boxes, so I end up with a lot of mascaras there. Some hula bronzer because I bought a set with two. Okay, so back to the highlighters, which I forgot um, at the beginning. The first one is from Artist Couture in Summer Haze. It's a glow powder. Then Farsali Jelly Beam Illuminator. Sorry, Jelly Beam is the name. It's a, it's an illuminator. Then Wet n Wild. Uh, it's a blush, but I use it as a, as a highlighter because of my skin tone. Same with this MAC Mineralized Blush. I use it as a highlighter because I'm darker. This one's from Ofra. It's a Rodeo Drive, I believe it's called. A Rodeo Drive? Rodeo, I think. From MAC, uh, Skin Finish. This is... um. A nice beautiful highlighter as well. From Catrice I have the Warm Embrace. There's two of the colors but I only have that one. From a Milk Makeup this Stick Highlighter in Lit. Fenty Beauty I have uh, Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And I have the Essence Sunlighter in Be My Sunlight. Focus. Then I have this Trio from Flower Beauty, a shimmer and strobe highlighting palette. It comes with three beautiful ones. Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Amrezi collaboration. Uh, from Morphe, this one's called Spark. There it is. Sorry about everything shaking. 